guys, what's up? This is David Strauss here with Brian Rogers today. Brian is a master of product photography. Been doing it for several years, and we did a tutorial with you, what, like a year ago now-ish? Yeah, almost. believe it or, yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, Brian has some of the slickest images I have ever seen. So uh, you guys can definitely learn a lot from him, and uh, hopefully today's images can give some good feedback to the community. So. Uh, Lee and Patrick will not be joining us. Hopefully that is a good thing. Next week's critique, we are going to avoid having people submit. We are actually gonna have Lee and Patrick pick out only five star images to comment on. So five stars is extremely nice. elusive, but they're out there and people always give us crap about never giving out that rating. Uh, so we are going to pick out only five stars and show you guys what kind of quality can be found in the community. So. Uh, let's dive in to the first image. Uh, you've never done a critique before, have you? I have not. So, um, just to reiterate for you and anyone else out there, our uh, rating system is based on a five point scale. Number one, snapshot, anyone could have taken it. Uh, cell phone, any camera. Two, it's good, but it needs work before it hits your portfolio. A three, it's solid enough for your portfolio, which means you can get work by having it on your website. Um, you want, it's a representation of like what you're capable of. Four is a fantastic image and five is a world class. We almost never see fives, uh, but they're out there and it's something that's supposed to be unforgettable. So uh, we're gonna go through these. We do have two winners. We The top two images tied this week and we give a free tutorial to the uh, top rated image by the community each week. So the first two images got the exact same score this week. And we are going to pick a random winner to win a free tutorial. What should that number be? Three through 20. Let's see, let's go with lucky number 12. 12, all right, when we get to image 12, you will win a free tutorial. So let's dive right into this first image. Again, these first two were the top rated uh, images in the entire community. Let's throw out a number, two, one. All right. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I, I need to switch that. All right, I mean, you can- My, you my can, fingers you can weren't rate, working correctly. You can rate whatever you want, <laughs> but I think this is a four, we both agree. Yes. Uh, this is slick, I love the lighting. I love that nothing is even remotely blown out, but there's still depth and tones between in the splash and the bottle. That bottle is just super slick. I don't know, what, some thoughts? Yeah, I think the highlights on the bottle are really nice. Um, and I love the shape of the splash and how that's kind of just, you know, really filling the frame. And uh, the reflections are pretty cool. Yeah, the reflection's real clean. Anything that, do you, do you think this product could be improved at all? Or is this like top of the game for the product itself? I think this is a really great image. I think really for me, the one thing that I'm noticing is just the interaction between the limes and the splash itself. To me, they look composited. I mm. think there could be a little bit more. Yeah, especially that one at the top right there. It looks like it's kind of just sticking in the water. Yeah, I think if there was just a little bit more interaction uh, between the liquid and the limes themselves, I think that would really put it um, probably to a five for awesome. me. But yeah, it's a great image, I love it. All right, let's see what the community says. They rate it a 3.73. Now, community is generally harsher in these because there's a slight competitive element to it. Yeah. So I feel like normal images in the portfolios get a little bit higher than the critiques, but we'll look past that. Still an awesome image, yeah, well done. really well done. And now we know what the next one is gonna be rated since they're both rated the same, but here it is. I am ready. Uh, this one's, okay, yeah, I think. Uh, All right, three, two, ready? Yep. One, four. All right, five, I'm going with a four again. It's like outstanding. Why, this is, deserves a five. This is unforgettable to you. I don't know if it's necessarily unforgettable, but I will say that this is extremely well done. Uh, there's a lot of attention to detail. Everything is super sharp. I know that this didn't happen in one shot, and I know the level of work that went into creating something like this. Uh, there's a lot of details, a lot of uh, uh, reflective surfaces that have to be dealt with, and I think this is really well done. Yeah, each one of those gears is completely distinct from the one next to it. Like, that's super, 
Exactly. I imagine that's really tricky yeah, to accomplish. Yeah, it like, is. And the fact that there are two watches and not just one, so I know mm. there's a lot of work that goes on here. And yes, there are no special effects, but this is a really well done image. Well done. All right. Yeah, it's awesome. And we know the community gives it a 3.73 again. All right, third image. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. You give it a three, give I give it a three. three. We're on the same page so far. Uh, my initial thought is I do like it. I think it's a really nice piece. Um, it looks like a, there's a lot of design going on, which I really yeah. like. I like the color palette. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's not, it's not quite a four. Um, I think it's pretty well done. I'm trying to think of what they might be able to do to make it a little better. To me, the design element is the only thing that makes this a three. Honestly, the, the shoes themselves, they're not like, the, the lighting on them doesn't blow me away. I do love how they've given a view of almost every side of the shoe with this reflective platter. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's an interesting idea. The shoes themselves, they were kind of bland and they don't have a ton of dimension to them. I realize they're all only white and there is some good shadow, but like they themselves don't blow me away. Um, the concept is okay, but I think the overall design element of incorporating all these different colors, that's the only thing to me that makes this worth your portfolio. I think the three stripes are pretty cool too, especially that's kind of uh, an ode to the Adidas brand. Mm. I, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Didn't pick up on that. And I do like the reflection on the bottom as well to yeah, see the bottom uh, the tread of the well. shoe. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. But I mean, it is a white shoe. It, it's hard to make a white shoe interesting. Um, that's that, fair. It, you know, the lighting is soft and that's kind of nice, but yeah. You know, potentially the product itself keeps it from being higher. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bad image though. I like All it. All right. Community gives it a... 2.96, so we were okay. right in agreement. Espresso. I'm ready. That's one of those words that people mess up a lot. I don't know if you noticed that. Espresso. There's, there's no X in that. It's not espresso, it's espresso. Well pointed out. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to rate. You ready to rate? Um, I think so. Um... All right, three, two, one. Two yeah, in agreement. I, give it a two. I just there's nothing really special about it. Everything seems very muted and it's not really well lit. It looks like it was one light, two lights maybe out of camera though. There's not a lot of dimensionality. Um, there's no highlight on the back that brings it out. And it looks like the the yellow background is actually the yellow background. It's bleeding into the reflective uh, points of the product and I don't think that's actually augmenting the shot. I feel like the image look, would look cleaner if you'd put white back there, given some separation and then just photoshopped in the background yellow. I don't know. Yeah, I, I will say I like the color combination. I think the yellow and green are kind of cool together. Um, I feel like, yes, it, I think it was shot on a yellow background because you do see that, that yellow uh, bleed through there on the chrome which I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Um, I don't know, maybe it would look a little bit better if it was shot on white or maybe even black uh, and then composited in. But I think really for me, it looks... What keeps this from being on your portfolio? I think that cup honestly is a little distracting if you're trying to sell this machine. Um, sure. I would choose something maybe a little bit more simple, maybe something to complement the green or maybe even just a simple white one would be fine. But I, th I think there's just too much going on in that particular mug. But also... I just wish there's more dimensionality to the Yeah, I feel like price. it's a little flat. I don't know if they shot it with like a hard light. I mean, I, I, can't, really, I can't really tell. It seems like a hard light source um, maybe lit this. Like there's potentially three, or maybe that's just the bend in the chrome at the top, but it, I see three different... Yeah, I mean, reflections. chrome is a whole different deal altogether, but I think you really want to light the chrome uh, separately. This this kind of shot really should be a composite image anyway, where you're piecing all this stuff together as opposed to just one shot. And maybe they did piece some stuff together, I don't know. Um, but I just feel like overall, the light could be a little bit softer, and those blacks I think are really uh, a little too black. I'd mm. like to see a little bit more detail in there. Yeah, community gives it a 2.49, so they liked it a little bit more than we did. Next shot. 
Okay. Hmm. I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm kind of on a 3.5, so you went four. I went four on this, yeah. Um, compared to the last shoe shot, this has so much dimensionality, and I love it. I love the uh, that you can see every aspect of the shoe, including the tread, and it really brings out the texture that's innate to the product. Um, smooth lighting, everything's like really well balanced. Uh, and I like that it's kind of raised, got that nice drop shadow. The overall concept isn't particularly like in your face, it's just kind of a simple hero shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think the shoe is really well done. The lighting on it is great. Uh, this shoe, in general is just a little bit more interesting to look at than mm -hmm. the one we had seen earlier. So I think when you have an interesting product, I think it's gonna make a better product shot, honestly. Uh, but yeah, the lighting's great on it. Um, and it looks like there's focus from front to back, which at this angle uh, is a little bit more difficult as well. So mm -hmm. uh, that, that definitely stands out to me. Uh, the gray background doesn't bother me. I think it's pretty nice. I think the one thing that keeps this uh, kind of held back for me is that shadow. I think that shadow could use a little bit more work. Um, I think it needs to be, maybe it's just a little harder because it's kind of close to that um, that surface. Yeah. And so I think you'd see a little bit more shape and dimension out of that itself. Um, so yeah, I think that's just a little bit too soft. But overall, I mean, the shot of the shoe is great and you could easily plug that into a different background and, and really even make a different shot out of this altogether if you wanted to. But yeah, I think it's a solid shot. I like it. The more I look at it too, um, I'm slightly torn out from, torn in how bright the bottom is compared to the top. I feel like if it was a little more muted too, it would give me uh, a little more natural feel on what I would expect in a world, real world situation. There's rarely that much light coming up on a shoe. So the fact that it's almost as bright as some of these higher shades, that kind of pulls me out a little bit. I think if uh, they had used a lighter background, maybe that would work mm, yeah. for sure, because yeah. obviously you'd be you know, filling in the bottom a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I could see that. Um, maybe darkening that down a little bit might help match it with this background, but... Um, That's just kind of being picky. Yeah, yeah. Community gave it a 3.29, so that was pretty highly rated. Well done. All right, next shot, some food. I think I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, three, three. Yep, we agree. Three. Yep, we agree Where on that. Uh, my thought is that I think this is a really good image. I do like it, it's pretty solid. Um, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is anytime you have organic shapes, uh, like you know, with food, fruits, stuff like that, um, they're not perfect, mm -hmm. right? There's always going to be cleanup work that you're going to have to do to it. And I, I think looking at these, you know, like some of these little detail areas uh, could be cleaned up, uh, like that top orange. There's like some, you know, just imperfections kind of uh, coming out of that. Maybe the center could use some cleanup work. Um, I love the overall compositing and... Yeah, I think it's really creative. Uh, ...of the image, and I love the, the shapes of the peels. Some of the fruit itself, like you were saying, not only does it need more cleanup, but like that bottom right orange kind of looks like desiccated a little bit. Yeah, there's um, a lot of that white fibrous material coming through. I think it, it would almost be... almost looks kind of dried out, too. Yeah, to it me. does. I feel like you, that and the leaves down there... Um, I would imagine this shot took a while to set fresh, up. yeah. And so I'm thinking that these fruits probably were on set for quite a while. So this is one of those things where you might want to put some dummy fruit out first. Um, or just maybe, I don't know, if you're shooting tethered, you know, just be cognizant of the fact that this stuff is going to dry out pretty quick and maybe just replace uh, certain elements where needed. And I know some of these other ones had to have taken some time to... Uh, I don't know if they used wire to hold that stuff together or what, but yeah. I mean, I think it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, I, mean, it's I, a cool I love image. how it's set up. There's just a, a few little things, like you said, cleanup wise. Yeah. I also feel like the silverware is just a tad bright. Yeah, I think it's a little um, hot. If you maybe pull the, that down and it'd be good, but great shot. Community gives this a 3.4. Well done. 
interesting. Exploded view for us. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I'm going to give this a two. You give it a three. I give it a three. I think this is a solid portfolio piece. I mean, I've done work like this where you have these exploded views, and I know they're difficult to line up. Mm. Um, assuming that this is all photography, um, I know, and not CG or anything like that, um, I know that lining these pieces up is difficult. Um, mm. And then also the perspective as well, because if one of those pieces is off when you're shooting it, uh, that can definitely change perspective, and that wouldn't it wouldn't piece together correctly. And I think this is pretty well done. I think the um, chrome is well lit. I like the drop shadows; they kind of look like they're floating. I think it's a I think it's a solid piece. I feel like there are too many iterations of this product on in the picture, like. The fact that it's over on the right and then it's broken apart, but then there's another one on right underneath that's like melded into the background. It just, it's super busy. I, I would love to see, maybe it just, to bring it up to a three, take out that background shot. For me, it just seems distracting. I understand the concept of like, you want to see it put together and broken apart right there, but it's already on the right hand side and I, I have to agree with you I didn't think about the all the perspective difficulty but overall my impression is just not like I'm not blown away I've seen some incredible exploded view shots and maybe it's partly just the product's fault um, but I don't know, yeah bla not, blame it on the product for sure just not not getting it <laughs> uh, that much out of it community gives it a 3.27 so they liked it way more than I did they agreed with you okay all right. Okay. Mm, all right. Three, two, one. I give this three. Three. We yep. agree. I like the sword. I like the overall mood and concept. Uh, some of the fish look a little weird. This one guy right below to the right is kind of bug-eyed. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I can't... It's slightly distracting. I can't tell how sharp that one is either. Um... Can you, I don't know if we can zoom in or yeah. not. Um, it's, it's, it looks a little weird, but. it Yeah, compared to the sword, I almost feel like, I, I can't tell if it was a composite, like maybe it wasn't shot to be composited together. I, I don't know if it was a shot that um, maybe happened earlier at a different place or something. I don't know. I, I just feel like there's something with the sharpness is off to me compared to the product itself. Mm -hmm. But overall, I think uh, I love the composition. It almost looks like like a movie poster or something like yeah. that, like some kind of samurai movie or something. Um, I think it's a cool concept, and the composition is really cool. I love the colors in it. I think there's a lot of really cool things going on here. The chrome maybe uh, could use a little bit of work on the on the actual sword itself. There's some kind of like weird areas up toward um, just past the center of the blade. I, I can't tell what's going on there. Looks like just a divot in how it's produced, me. Yeah, maybe, and I don't know. Without seeing the sword, it's kind of hard to tell um, where all the intricacies of the blade are, but... Very cool. Community gives it a 3.04, so okay. right in line. What we were thinking. T. I'm going to go a little harsh. Three, two, one. Two, we agree. And give it a two. I think maybe an upper two because this shows a little bit of skill. I love the concept. The concept to me is the strongest element, the execution of it. The teapot itself with the lemon, again, I love that idea, but it just doesn't seem, I feel like it could be a little more skillfully done. Um, it looks very CG composited. Um, the light on the product itself is okay. It's just, I don't know, it's a little bland of an image to me. Yeah, I agree. I, I almost went three on this one. I think uh, with a little bit more tweaking on this, I think it could definitely be a portfolio image. Um, I love the concept. I think it's really creative, something I haven't really seen before. Um, I think overall the lighting is a little bit soft. Like these shadows down here could be maybe a little harder. Um, the background colors, I see what you're doing because you're trying to uh, mimic the box artwork, which I like, but I don't know. I think it needs something else, a little bit more dimension or something. Uh, the lemon off to the right, I think the way it's cut 
looks a little odd. Mm. Um, the perspective looks a little bit like weird to me. And I think it, it's just the cut and, and maybe the way it's angled in the shot. And then also the box itself. I've actually uh, shot quite a few boxes, uh, believe it or not. And one thing that I always notice when uh, shooting boxes are all these little lines that are on here. So like if you look at the top, there's this little weird area that I think needs to be addressed. Um, I would maybe just straighten those lines out a little bit more and maybe even uh, like take this crease out on the upper right mm -hmm. hand side as well where that reflection is. There's just something kind of weird about it. Um, maybe even use a polarizer to control those highlights on the, the right side of that box a little bit more and maybe just add them in a little bit later. Um, I think you could probably do a little bit more refinement on that. But um, yeah, again, mm -hmm. I, think, I think the concept's really cool and I think this could be a really great image with a little bit more tweaking. Just a little more fun. Yeah. Well, our community gave it slightly higher than okay. us, 2.96, so well done. Well, camping action. I'm ready. Mm. Okay, yeah, I think. Three, two, one, two. We agree again? Yeah. Um, I love trying to set up the, like, mood atmosphere for the shot it sells the location well but it really isn't highlighting the product very glamorously like there's weird feet right next to the product and the color toning is just a little bit I don't know blue and not I don't know it, it, it's definitely not very uh, glamorous for Heather's choice is my <laughs> underlying problem okay uh, I think I think honestly, like I almost gave it a three. I think it's a pretty good image. It's It's got a lifestyle twist to the product itself and I really like that. Um, I think overall the image is kind of cold. I'd like to see that a little bit more uh, warmed up. I think the lighting on the actual um, package itself, I don't think looks, uh, I don't think it looks too bad. It could use a little bit more refinement. I'm trying to look at and see what this product is. Let's see Heather's Choice, um, smoked. Sockeye salmon. Okay, so it's a salmon chowder. Just okay. seems a little too obvious of a like. Here's this product. I feel like the image could be sold a little bit better if it, there was a more natural feel. And I don't know. There's like I said. There's a random foot from someone else in the shop. But I feel like this image would look so much cooler if you had both models in there and like they yeah, were I could see interacting that. and the you could still highlight the product, but like the scene fit together in more of a concept rather than here's this product in front of the camera. Right. Yeah, I actually, now that you bring up the feet, I didn't really realize how many feet there were in the shot. I'm seeing three and it looks, it does look a little weird. It would maybe be nice to, I actually thought this person was alone in this scene. Yeah. Like maybe they were surviving or just they're just out in the wilderness. Um, so yeah, having three feet is kind of weird. But. Um, Anyway. I, cool location. I, I love yeah. that. They could probably even clone out one of the feet. Community agrees. 1.98. Need some work. Ooh. Interesting. I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. <laughs> I give it a two. Four. I <laughs> yeah, did not we're, agree. We're, we're way off. Okay. All right. Well. Well, I'm just going to first and foremost say that I think this is a really awesome composition. I love the simplicity of it. I love all of the lines going on and just there's a lot of form. I 100% um, agree with that. Cool highlight on the bottle. Uh, I, I think it's a really cool image. I like it a lot. I think there's a lot of potential for this. And coming from an advertising background as well, I think um, you can crop this in so many different ways and make an ad out of that. I think it's cool. I, I like it. I love the... I love the idea behind all the these elements in the uh, scene, all these blocks. Um, it's very clear to me that this is shot in, it seems to be shot with one in, in camera. Uh, there's no special light painting or anything, which is fine. That doesn't mean an image is good or bad. But to me, this is more about the composition than the product itself. And I don't, I just don't love the, the product aspect of this. Like, I'm drawn more to these cool shapes 
than to this wine bottle. Um, I do love the little red thing, but like the left side of the bottle falls super flat with no dimension to it. The cap is, I don't know, it, the lighting on it just doesn't really get to me. Um, I do love the shapes. That, that's great. I think, honestly, the shapes for me um, kind of resemble the minimalism of the label itself. The label is, is pretty small and very simple, and I think that artwork, um, or the, the shapes that you've added in, it makes it more of an artistic piece. I, I think it's cool. I like it. Let's see what the community says. They agree more with you. 3.22. Kind of in the middle. Yeah. I was at 4, you were at 2. Yeah. Yeah. So. And community always down, downgrades it a little bit, so... More in your realm. All right, this is number 12. Congratulations, you win a free tutorial. I'll be in touch with you uh, via your F-Stoppers profile to see which one you want. You can consider Brian's. Okay. Three, two, one, two. You give it a three. I give it a three. Um, I don't get it. I don't get the drip. Um, I think, I guess you're, yeah, what, what, I, I don't get the concept here. I don't know if I get the drip either. I just think it looks cool. I think it's a cool idea. I don't think you necessarily have to have a reason for for doing something like that in a shot I, other than making it look interesting uh, and something maybe you haven't seen before. Um, compositionally, I like what's going on with, uh, with the lines here at that diagonal. Um, I like that pop of color at the bottom. I think the product is really clean, it looks like. I don't really see any dust or anything. I think it's a, I think it's a solid portfolio piece. I, again, my biggest qualm is I don't quite get the drip. But aside from that, I also don't, like, the, the lighting on the product doesn't blow me away. It's not, it's just, it's a little more flat than I feel like I would like. And I don't know that it's selling much of the product. I just get a hint of it. Maybe that's okay. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm not very intrigued by, like, what's the rest of this look like. It's just... It's more about the yellow drip, which I don't get. I think actually this looks like an editorial piece almost. Like it's got like, I don't know, it's got, like I could see this in a magazine talking about technology or something or I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what the, the actual concept would be, but I, I look at it more as an editorial piece almost. Community, again, likes it far more than I do. 3.49, what do I know? All right, I'm ready, I think. Kind of torn on this one. Um, okay. Three, two, one. Three, three, three. We match. I saw one of your ink shots recently. It was awesome. I think this is Thanks. like... Uh, it's well done, but there are some big aspects of the ink that really bother me. Specifically on the right-hand side of the bottle, it's like... Seems like it's wrapping around the product in a very composite feel way. Like, I don't know what's missing there, but the mixture, especially on the bottom right of the bottle. I'd agree. Uh, I, th I think it it's missing. Very, a I think what it's missing is a shadow. It, it just it looks too cut out. Some sort of reflection of the uh, of the ink in the bottle or something. I don't know. Yeah, I th you're right. Shadow or whatnot. I do like how. They did a good job of lighting the left side of the bottle and having the glow more on the left of the ink, left side of the ink yeah. um, drop. But, and reverse is true, it's darker on that side and consistent, but it, it doesn't blend well. Other than that, I like the overall vibe of this image and it's interesting. Yeah, I think it's a solid shot. I mean, the bottle's really well lit, um, beautiful highlight on the left. Um, there's a little bit of foiling on the label, which I think could maybe use a little bit more uh, attention to detail. And one thing that always throws me off, especially with bottle shots like this, is uh, the the label on the top is not perfectly centered. It's actually mm. off to the yeah. right, and that really bugs me. And when I'm shooting this kind of work, I really try to make sure everything is straight. Uh, and this might be a situation where they didn't have an extra label to apply. Um, if this were a client shoot, and maybe it was, I don't know, but uh, usually clients will provide you with additional labels that you can then, you know, put on and, and make adjustments on set. But that, that for me, just that, you know, um, 
non-uniformity on that top label just kind of throws me off a little bit. And I think the ink itself, um, I think looks pretty good, but again, uh, just wrapping around that bottle, I'd want to see a little bit more shadow because I, I feel like it's a little too cut out looking right now. But um, the direction of light definitely matches the bottle. So I, I think it's a solid shot. Good. It, I feel like too, it fits conceptually well with the espresso type of yeah. liquor. So yeah. um, of the mix of milk or whatever you'd have. Mm -hmm. So I do like that aspect as well. Community gives it a 3.16, it looks like. Well okay. done. All right, next we have some kayaking. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, two, solid two. two, I think. The highlights are blown. The product is overall is too saturated, um, oversaturated. Uh, I like the vibe, but it's just could you could work on execution a little bit better. Yeah, I think compositionally, I think there's a lot of dead space right in the middle of the frame, and I, I almost don't know what I'm looking at. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking at the scenery behind uh, this. I don't know if that's a, is that a kayak? Kayak, canoe, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not 100% sure. Uh, definitely the saturation levels are uh, pretty crazy. Um, I like the colors, I just think they're a little bit too saturated, and that sky is definitely way blown out. Um, I like the concept behind the shot, but... I think um, if it was going to be like a product shot, I think I'd like to see a little bit more of the product, mm -hmm. maybe a lower vantage point, uh, yep. maybe filling the frame a little bit more, and then having that stuff in the background would be nice. But um, yeah, it's it definitely needs some work, but I, I like the concept we for sure. We agree, and the community also agrees. 2.11. Interesting. I'm a little torn on this. I'm going to go. Yeah, me too. Keep going I, a little harsh. Two. Two? I'm going to give it a two, and it was almost a three for me. Exactly. Yeah. I think this is a 2.5 level. I'm a little unclear on what the product is here, and maybe with context to the website you'd see more, maybe not. Sure. I don't know if the lighter is being sold, if the kettle is being sold. If the lighter is being sold and you're trying to like make a pitch that it can heat up a giant pot of water or something, it's that hot. Feel like there's more you could do maybe like add steam coming out yeah or like, yeah something like that would be cool and highlight the flame a little bit more it just i get lost in what this is selling yeah me as well um i think the chrome could probably i don't know the lighting could be a little bit more um refined on that what would you do is it just retouching or would you light it differently I think I would light it differently. Um, I think it's a combination of retouching and lighting, but first and foremost, lighting. Um, I don't know if I like that red completely in there. I don't know. I, I can tell it was in shot in the environment. Itself, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Um, one thing, too, is the hands. A lot of times if you see hands in some kind of advertising shot, especially in a product shot, they're going to be really super clean. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, think about all the Apple imagery that you see with people's hands using phones or even Samsung. They're always really, really well refined. I feel like there could be some dodging and burning um, in the fingers, maybe reducing the veins on there. Uh, I think there's a lot of cleanup work that could happen. Um, and then also, like from a symmetry standpoint, I feel like I want this image to be centered, like everything to be centered, and things are just off Slightly a little bit. Slightly off, you're right. And that might be something you could tweak and post to, uh, you know, potentially eliminate. Like, I feel like this bottom hand could be over to the left a little bit more. I want to see that flame, I think, more centered. Yeah. Um, and then that top hand could almost be to the right just a little bit. But I, I feel like this is a really symmetrical piece in terms of uh, composition. And I just feel like I'd want to see it perfectly centered. Yeah. Community gives it a 2.73, so just under three. Okay. We're pretty dead on. Next. Interesting. Hmm, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I give this another two, you give it a three. I give it a three. A little harsher. Um, I like the idea, I like this. It's, it's interesting, it catches my attention. It's just not very well defined after that initial overall image interest. Like, um, I don't know why. Yeah, I was borderline two or three. I wasn't 100% sure. I think this could be a portfolio piece. I like the concept behind this because I feel like these glasses help you see clear. Yeah. And I think that comes across very well on this. 
Um, I like the outdoorsy kind of look to it. I like the muted uh, tones. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's a cool image. Yeah. All right. Community agrees with you. Three point one three. Hmm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, three. three. I think solid image for I, I I could see this on as a uh, showing up in a store as a I don't know hero shot, but like definitely on the box of these Gillette razors and well lit. Um, again, this is one thing where the product without any extra th something, it's hard to make this. An amazing image, uh, but this clearly displays like photographer knows what he's doing, can light, um, get work. I like the cleanness of the of the product of the razors themselves. Yeah, Anything I think this add? could be a really good pack shot or even a, a POS like point of sale shot. Um, I think I think the bones are here for this image um, to make it better. Uh, I think everything is clean. Everything is well lit. Really nice highlights and shadows. Everything's super clean. Um, I think the angles of the product, though, are a little, I don't know. I, I feel like they need to be turned a little bit more. I feel like these weren't the right angles for this particular product. Like, they just need to be changed a little bit. Um, I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like they definitely invested the time in making the shot as good as they could with what they had to work with. I just think compositionally, and there's nothing you can do about it without reshooting it, but... I think I would have spent maybe just a little bit more time finding, like, fine-tuning the um, the composition just a little bit. The one I on think, the left especially feels a little off. I I kind of like this right one's angle. I don't know. If yeah, I like the I like the right one better. Gives you um, a good perspective of the razor blades themselves. Yeah, the I grip, think what's but. throwing me off by looking at this is these two images together, mm. because the angles are so different um, that, like, if you were trying to make these two fly in the air together. I think the angles would be different. Like the perspectives aren't lining it up in this image. It also seems like there's a discontinuity in the focal length potentially of may, maybe yeah, not. Yeah, maybe. But like to me, the one on the right is more proportionally balanced to where I would think it's shot with a slightly longer focal length. Sure. Uh, and then this one on the left, the handle seems a lot bigger. So maybe shot with a wide angle lens. Potentially, and maybe maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just the design because. Even in the one on the right, the back is a lot fatter. Uh, so maybe it's just the design element, but uh, I don't know. I, I get that weird sense of perspective discontinuity. Yeah, exactly. But, I mean, again, it's not a bad shot. I think uh, you got the bones for some good things here, uh, especially that one on the right. You could probably make another image out of that shot yeah. specifically. Well done. Community gives it a 2.88. Ready when you are. Um, man, okay, yeah, I I think I know what I want to do here. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, four for me, three for you, I... I almost gave it a four. Um, what, what keeps this down for you? I think just because I've seen these kind of shots so many times, mm -hmm. I think that's really what it is for me. I think it's well executed. The highlights and shadows are awesome. The, the lighting on the bottle is great. I like the addition of the splash. I think it's just um, that I've seen it so many times. I see a lot of people doing this uh, kind of shot with a very, you know, gradated background. Um, but again, I mean, this could be a four. I, I think it's well done. I really do. Yeah, I like the execution. I love the, the splash looks awesome. It's engaging. It's active. The colors meld well together. It sells the brand well. Um, you're right. This is definitely an overdone concept, but to me, this is pretty well executed. Yeah, maybe it is really well executed. Maybe there's some cleaning up on the right hand of the bottle that you could do. Maybe that's just the texture of the bottle itself. Yeah, that but might be the glass. But now that I'm noting, noticing that, um, it's potentially slightly distracting. I don't know, maybe it adds to the image, but overall, yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's a great shot, no doubt. Community agrees, excellent shot, 3.62, well done. Cool. Next, another pair of sunglasses. Not dangling in the air. I I know where I'm going with this. I'm a little torn. Three, two, one. I'm going harsh. One, two. I think this is maybe a little bit better than a one because it looks like zoomed in, slight compositional 
manipulation, but this is pretty snapshotty to me. Yeah, it, it does look like a snapshot. I mean, I can see that the background's out of focus, so that adds a little bit more of an element of professionalism to it, but uh, the sunglasses themselves, I think, just look dead. I'd, I'd really like to see a nice reflection in those. Um, I don't mind the shape that it's on. That's kind of interesting. Composition doesn't look bad. I think there's some elements here that um, if you were to refine a little bit, uh, I think this could be a better shot. This could be a portfolio shot if there's a little bit more work put in. Um, but it depends on you know what they shot it with and if they have enough frames to cover certain areas. Um, I like that outdoorsy look. I like the mountains in the background. I think that's awesome. Admittedly, with product photography, it's hard to have a true snapshot because the nature of it thought goes into it so yeah. it's hard, hard to really give something a true one perhaps i'm being harsh but everything about this image to me makes it look like someone kind of just plopped it down there and grabbed a shot uh the wood looks bad it's a horrible time of day to be photographing this maybe um you know there is somewhat nice highlight but there's no uh light on the product itself so i'm not really sure even what the frame is made out of and you can't even see the full frame i guess you can barely see the brand it's name very, H &M in the back yeah it's very backlit um, i think it needs some fill on the front but yeah but the community is right between us 1.43 okay and this is our final image Huh. Man, this one's, I don't know, it's kind of tough. I'm, I'm kind of torn between a couple. Three, two, one, three. I gave it a three as well. All right. Similar to the bottle and ink drop shot, I feel like there's some blending issues that I see with the fire coming around uh, the pan that looks a little off. I do like the lighting on the pan. I like the gradient. It's yeah. highlighted well. Um, the, the perspective slash concept of it like standing on the table but the flame still wrapping around it. There's a little conceptual weirdness of that to me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do like the lighting on the pan itself though. Yeah, I think the lighting on the product itself is great. I mean, even if this was on white or on black, it'd, it'd be a solid just, you know, pack shot of that product itself. Um, I like the addition of the flames, but it definitely could use a little bit more refinement to get the idea that the flames are, you know, wrapping around the product itself. And then one thing that's really throwing me off is this line at that's the bottom. That's what I was just thinking. I was like, why, why even have that? Like, I'm sure that's like supporting the product. Yeah. Somewhat, well, and I like take it out. I like the surface and the glow and the shadow at the bottom, but I would just take that hard line and just kind of like use a gradient yep. or something and just with a mask and just kind of blend that out uh, so you don't see a hard line there. And I think if you did that, it would definitely be better. I think that's the conceptual issue I have. Yeah, this. yeah. But it is a cool idea and I do like it. And again, the, the product's well lit. But yeah, still solid three. Yeah, it's a opinion. solid Still image. worth uh, putting on your website. And the community, it was harsher than we were, 2.58. I think it deserves a little bit more than that, but that wraps up the final image. Hopefully you guys learned a little something from Brian here. Uh, remember, next week we are going to only be including five-star images that we will pull from the F-Stoppers community. So there will be no submission process, but it will hopefully give you guys a perspective in to what is possible out there. Uh, thank you guys for participating. If you want more content like this, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you want to see some of our feature-length photography tutorials, including Brian's amazing product photography tutorial, head over to fstoppers.com store.